Good morning, welcome to the tour. So today is the aptly named Race of Truth, the individual time trial. It's a little hard to paint because each rider goes at a, starts at their own individual time and uh, you have no idea who's gonna win the stage up until the last rider has finished. So it's always like a bit of guesswork. So my usual solution, just paint who enters me or paint the best image and let the chips fall as they do. Now, part of that then also is deciding who, who's got a chance and like I say, who you're interested in, who you're a fan of, and who interests you. So to that end right now, starting with uh, Chad Haga, one of the three Americans remaining in the race. There was a fourth, TJ Van Garder, speaking of riders I'm particularly fond of, but he crashed out, hitting a f sign. It's one of the few paintings I've actually done of a crash. Uh, that's usually just not, I mean, it's a part of the tour and it can really affect what happens in the tour, but there are people who go to NASCAR races for the crashes, I'm just, you know, I never cheer for anybody to crash. But anyway, so riders go out one minute intervals until we get to the very end of the day and then the race leaders go at two minute intervals. Chad has already passed one of, um, actually one of the racers I expected to win today, Tony Martin, current and nine time time trial champion of Germany but also a four-time world champion. So he's clearly taken the day off, resting. He has been uh, riding on the front of the race for his teammates and producing results. Um, he rides for, but anyway, back to Chad. Let's talk about Chad. So Chad is the American riding for the Dutch team Sunweb. He did just win the closing day time trial in the Giro d'Italia. Here, title this, sorry, take a thought process there a moment. Today is the 19th, I believe. So Chad is quite the good time trialist and today he's sort of free to ride. He's fifth from last because he's been riding for his teammates, for Michael Matthews, chasing down breaks, keeping the uh, peloton honest. And then when his efforts are done, he drops off and finishes inside the time. So the Lanton Rouge, although he is not the Lanton Rouge, um, frequently is quite a good racer. They're just they're there in the service of someone else. So um, don't be, don't poo poo somebody who is a Lantern Rouge. Um, Lantern Rouge comes from the uh, end of a train. There would be a red lantern at the end of the train. So the idea of the last guy in the race being the end of the train. But that's not Chad. Now, one of the things with the time trial is it's a little hard to get great images to paint because since the race is against the clock, the motorcycles are always kept behind the racers. So unless there's a stationary camera, and there are some along the course, and at the end of the day, they can't get out in front and get that nice front view of the racer on these very specific time trial machines. So today most of the views will be back views. If you ride at all, you know you spend a lot of time looking at the backside, the derriere <laughs> of riders. I've spent a lot of miles looking at people's behinds. One thing, if you ride alone, you get a slightly better view. 
you're riding in a pice line with a group of cyclists, you really have to keep your eyes out and you got to keep your eyes. Yes, you can look at the scenery, but you mainly are looking at the bike right in front of you because you do not want to go down. It hurts. And for those of us who aren't on teams and we have to pay to fix our own bikes, that can be a very expensive proposition if you add going to the emergency room on top of that. It's no fun. Part of the reason I quit racing. Heck, I wasn't all that great at it. So, laying in, I already done the warm colors, cutting into the cools. Again, I do all this work with um, these fabulous watercolors. The um, brand name is St. Petersburg. They are cake watercolors, which means they're in these little trays. So to dry it out rather than squeezing out tunes. And they come in this nice box with the little palette up above. They're made by this company, Richson Art, out of Wisconsin. They just have really brilliant color. I, um, in f sense of full disclosure, I am sponsored by the manufacturer, by Richson. But I had discovered them through their paint sticks, which is a drawing form of oil paint that I've used for years and years and years. I've pretty much been using that medium since they created them. They came out in 75 and I started using them in 77. But when I started painting cycling, and there was a chance I was going to be the Giro, they provided me with these watercolors and I am stunned by their quality. Just the color is so rich, so intense. It's a big part of uh, why these watercolors look the way they do. You know, no big surprise, but if you use better quality paint, you'll get better quality results. <laughs> There's a shock, right? And then also they provided me with these brushes and I had never really been one. Because with the oil sticks, you don't use a brush. All the mixing happens right on the surface. And there are some videos, if you go back a little bit, timeline of my posted videos, you can see the paint sticks being used for a large scale piece. So I encourage you to take a look at that if you're interested in seeing what those are. And then that is a series of videos that you can watch as I create a piece. They obviously are take a lot longer to create than these watercolors. So now moving to the grass on the other side. First I'm gonna get in a base of sunlit grass. I might even shift and let that dry for a minute or two and then come back and lay in some grass detail on both sides. The arum skip to the sky up here since those trees are fairly dry. It has been amazing with it. I can't think of the last time. A lot of things happening in this tour that I can't think of having happened before. And one of them is we haven't had any rain yet. Fortunately here in my home, we've had a fair amount of rain. It's gonna to have to water everything yesterday and then we got a classic summer downpour. So as I said, the time trial is a race against the clock. The riders go out and it is a, the winner of the stage is the person who covers the distance the fastest. That could be Chad here. And like I say, start at fifth from last. Or it could be the yellow jersey who will go the absolute last. And it, Chad could, right now, as the race is progressing, he has the best time at the first time check. We're only that far into the race. So it's looking good for him, and like I say, he's already passed one of the anticipated stage winners. But we do think, I think, the prognosticators think that Tony Martin is simply saving himself for his more important job of pacing his teammates. Come 
I missed that helmet when I had that dark color on my brush. There we go. So just about completed here, really. Want a little more detail in the grass. Let's get a good color of green here. Not too much water on my brush. And then I'm just going to do upstrokes. Let the brush kind of do the work for the fronds of grass. And what I'm going to do is do this color. And then I'll come in with a lighter and maybe even a darker. So just give me a little brush or some just fine point on the brush and just streaking, stroking up. So just about done here. Yeah, I think we'll do a light color now. And then all I have left to do is lay in the um, roadway. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that or not. Someone yawning as they came down the stairs. It is early. So just laying the roadway in. Again, a lot of water on the brush, floating the color, almost painting with a dirty brush. And again, using the brush strokes, and I'm actually going to turn the painting, so I want to do that. Letting the brush strokes follow the contour of the road so that if I get any striations, they help give you that visual swirl that I was going for with the whole composition. So, hope you will check out my blog where all of the paintings from today's stage appear, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. Check out Richson Art, who makes these watercolors. Don't think I finished the thought about the brushes, Steve Quiller brushes from them as well, just incredible brushes. Now I get the whole point of spending money on good brushes. And then, um, Check out my website where you can see all of my artwork, including those oil stick paintings I was talking about, gregreach.com, and then Richson Art, again, is where they are. Subscribe, give me a like, tell me what you think. Love to hear from you. Thank you for looking.